Okay, so what I've got here is a, a very simplistic setup. I've got a mirror image. Uh, I've got a launch pad, uh, Mark II with the RGB colors, and the launch pad Pro, again with the RGB colors, but it can also switch across into your note mode, etc., and have the uh, MIDI control with velocity sensitivity. I'm not that good at playing uh, live, certainly, so I prefer to trigger clips and kind of create a performance around evolving uh, the tunes, etc. So in this 8x8 grid, I've got the drums, the percussion, the bass, uh, some other sounds, two lots of keys, a pad, and some special effects. And all the clips in here were supplied to me by Mode Audio, which I'll, I'll put some details in the link uh, in the details of this video. And I've just basically duplicated that eight tracks. Uh, so I've got them again on the Launchpad Pro. To handle the volumes and the like, I've got a MIDI mix looking after the first eight tracks. And I've got the Launch Control XL uh, looking after the second uh, set of eights. So they effectively look after the volumes. Now, it's quite a simplistic way of playing. Uh, we would basically launch a clip. And if you think how, how you would DJ with things generally, you'd bring another track in. Uh, but if you were playing whole tunes, you'd have to play the whole parts of it. Whereas if I had all of the parts going for effectively this elegant scent tune, And obviously I, I'd wait a bit to actually get to all eight clips playing. And I wanted to bring in the drums of say the Foxhound tune. I'm able to bring in just an element of the tune, which is really quite like it's the ultimate of DJing. You can bring the bass line from one track uh, and lay it over the other. I mean, if I, had this kind of stuff when I started out DJing sort of 25 years ago, I think I'd probably have never made it out my bedroom, but that's another story entirely. The only challenge comes when I want to use the scene launch buttons with this particular way of working, because uh, as you'll probably hear in a second, if I want to launch, say, the whole of, let's go for the green dream, it's gonna launch it across all of the tracks there. So we designed this uh, Exclude audio device to work on a very simplistic net basis. It takes control of these scene launch buttons for supported controllers like the launch pads, including the Mini, uh, the APC40, Mark 1 and Mark 2, the Push, the Push 2, and it's even, uh, even MIDI mappable because the numbers 1 to 8 that you see here act as scene launch buttons. So you could add scene launch buttons to a controller that doesn't support it, as long as it's got a effectively a red box, uh, which in this case is a, a green and a blue one, dependent on the control surface slots that I've used. Now what I'd like to do is I actually want this launch pad to only launch what it sees. So I'm gonna use the exclude box and complete that with tracks uh, nine. Press enter. Those settings will now be saved with the device when you save the template. And if I want to now launch the scene launch buttons will only launch tracks one to eight. What I've done is in this second lot of drum track, I've got the same, but it's not launching scenes one to eight. 